गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन द सब्जेक्ट द टॉपिक टूडेज टॉपिक इज द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेक्निक इन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन एंड दिस टॉपिक इज विल बी रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन आई एम हिमांशु नागपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ई सी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ए के जी सी गाजियाबाद टूडे विल डिस्कस और विल स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेक्निक बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेक्निक वी शुड नो डेट दे आर नंबर ऑफ सिग्नल्स और द नंबर ऑफ यूजर्स हैविंग इंडिविजुअल हैविंग नंबर ऑफ डाटा दिस डाटा इज टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड ओवर सिंगल चैनल एंड वेन इट इज टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड ओवर अ सिंगल चैनल दिस टेक्निक और दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज द मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग क्लियर एंड वेन दिस this over a single channel this channel is to be distributed to the their respective receivers <coughs> receiver or destination and this is known as the from single channel to their respective uh, destination that is known as the demodulation or uh, sorry demultiplexing clear <coughs> so the source can be this source can be in the form of analog or in the form of or in digital form so today we will discuss about the both the both the common techniques which will be related to the analog source and also will related to the digital source clear so let's say if i say in a broadband analog ampli ampli applications such as cable television super trunks one needs to send multiple analog signal over a same fiber that same fiber is what single channel here we will talk <coughs> as this is this topic is related to the optical communication so this channel is what this channel is what optical fiber cable if it is related to the normal communication then this channel may be in the space of uh, space that is in the air this channel may be optical fiber cable this channel may be normal coaxial cable any type of cable this channel may be clear so <coughs> to do this one can employ a multiplexing technique where number of baseband signals are superimposed <coughs> on to the n sub carriers these n sub carriers are what these are <coughs> the <coughs> different frequencies signals having a frequencies f1 f2 and these n mods n sub carriers are mainly used for the modulation purpose so this these modulated sub carriers are then combined through a electro, electro electronically through a fdm that is a frequency division multiplexing to form a composite signal that directly modulates a single optical source we will discuss this point in the next uh, upcoming slide Okay, so there are number of methods to achieve this multiplexing technique. That is, methods for achieving this include the vestigial sideband amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and the sub carrier modulation. And there are number of more techniques which we'll discuss in the few in the next few slides. <coughs> Now see, as we know that the AM is simple and cost effective, which is compatible to the equipment clear so but it is very sensitive it is very sensitive with the to respect with respect to noise and the non linear distortion that's why we always prefer to have a frequency modulation though frequency modulation requires a large bandwidth than am but it provides a high signal to higher signal to noise ratio means it is less sensitive to the noise and the non linear <coughs> non linear <coughs> distortion Clear. So <coughs> we always prefer to have a frequency modulation signal as compared to the frequency modulated FM as compared to the AM. Clear. Now microwave SCM SCM is the sub carrier mod modulation which operates at higher frequency than AM or FM. And as it is very interesting to uh, for the distribution of both analog and digital signal. so first one technique uh, which uh, which is already described in the from the book which i have taken this topic from the or content from the book 
optical fiber communication by the gerd kiesel that the first one is the multi channel amplitude modulation now see this and from this figure you can see that the the number of carriers f1 to f2 then it to f1 <coughs> these are amplitude modulated carrier frequency these are all combined onto the single channel using a this that is rf power combiner and this <coughs> now this fdm signal is amplitude modulated using a laser uh, or you can say intensity modulated use, using a laser transmitter and this is transmitted or, or this signal is transmitted over a optical fiber cable and at the receiver end this optical signal this optical signal is de pump de multiplex into the there or you can say uh, into the different frequencies which is f1 f2 and fn and using a band pass filter or you can say uh, there is a splitter over we can use clear and this splitter is used generally when we when it is combined with the wdm technique clear so this technique this figure did combine the n independent messages there are n independent messages each each message have a frequency of frequency of <coughs> f1 f2 and f3 this information carrier signal is transmitted over channel i that is amplitude modulates a carrier wave that has a frequency f1 f2 and fn clear so the rf power combines the then some of these n amplitude modulated carrier to yield a composite frequency division that intensity modulates the laser diode clear i have already told you that this channel or this is a combination of all these modulated carrier frequencies <coughs> these all message carrier frequencies <coughs> are modul are intensity modulated by the laser diode <coughs> so at the receiver end optical receiver re separates the combined combined carrier back into the individual channel using a band pass filter clear and the individual message signal are generally that is recovered from the different demodulation techniques hv uh, that is by the standard rf technique okay. now next uh, next one is the optical division multiplexing technique this one is the second uh, type of uh, multiplexing technique that is a otdm we generally it is known as otdm that is optical time division <coughs> multiplexing we'll discuss this one with uh, this topic with the help of the figure you can see here that this 1 2 3 4 four, these are what transmitters <coughs> and these transmitters all these transmitters are provided with a uh, with the clock frequency of 40 gigahertz and there is a delay of around 40 gigahertz some delay with that is provided to this one this one and this one these are the delays provided to the transmitter user now see <coughs> each signal each uh, signal each transmitter sends its data over the same channel yeah over a otdm on the basis of time on the basis of time let's say if i say for the 1 millisecond this signal transmit to the this one and for the next for the next 1 to 2 millisecond this transmitter to signal will be transmitted over the channel and then next 2 to 3 millisecond this signal will be transmitted and then the next 3 to 4 millisecond it is this signal is to be transmitted over the over the channel so this one is the otdm that is optical time division multiplex in this whole signal the number of signals are transmitted over a single channel the number of signals are transmitted over a single channel on the basis of 
time allocated to each each transmitter clear so now see this one mode log <coughs> semiconductor laser sources which are produced short optical pulses which are utilized at the transmitter to provide a low duty cycle pulse streams for the subsequent time multiplexing the data was encoded onto these pulse streams which gave the return to zero mother means argent multiplication uh, multiple uh, return to zero <coughs> modulation technique is used these input output devices are employed to eliminate the laser chip which would result in dispersion of the transmitted pulses as they propagate within a single mode fiber i, I have already discussed in the second and third unit what is the single mode fiber and what is the laser and the what are the what is the dispersion clear <coughs> so similarly at the receiver side same clock cycle will be uh, same uh, for the same synchronization this is timing recovery clear uh, to maintain the synchronization at the same date in the in this figure for example we have taken for 1 millisecond to uh, for 0 to 1 millisecond this signal is to be transferred over the channel using a otdm so similarly at the receiver side 0 to 1 millisecond the output obtained the input obtained at otdm demultiplexer this input obtained at this one for further duration 0 to 1 millisecond this signal will be transferred over to this one clear similarly for the 1 to 2 millisecond for the 3 to uh, 2 to 3 millisecond for 3 to 4 millisecond so this one is the <coughs> otdm otdm demultiplexing technique demultiplexing technique this this is the example we have taken not uh, exactly it is 1 millisecond for one day. these are the this is the example we have take i have taken that for 1 millisecond for 2 millisecond for 2 to 3 millisecond for 3 to 4 millisecond clear and this time duration is generally depends on the clock frequency <coughs> clear now next one is the sub carrier multiplexing technique so this this sub carrier multiplexing technique is the uh, the use of sub carriers are used they are modulated by the analog signal as compared to the intensity modulation in this you will see that the high frequency micro sub carriers are used and are multiplexed in the frequency domain before providing a intensity modulation clear so this sub carrier multiplexing can also be sometimes referred to as the optical sub carrier multiplexing <coughs> From this figure, you can see that the first of all, we will see the figure, then we will read the content. Clear? Now, see, these are the number of messages from 1 to n. <coughs> these are the number of message signal from 1 to n. <coughs> Clear? Now this these number of message signals are combined with the are go will enter into the mixer and mixer mixer will what there is a in the mix mixer care mixer is a uh, mixing of where the local oscillator frequency is mixed with the message signal signal so local oscillator is there for providing the mixing with the message signal and the output power is output signal is of some frequency is generated at the this one and this from all these 1 to n these are all combined using a rf power combiner and it goes to the now this rf power combiners <coughs> is goes uh, this output uh, combined output will enter into the laser driver and this laser driver provides what provides the intensity based modulation intensity based modulation you can say intensity modulation and this after intensity modulation this signal 
is enter into the optical fiber cable now see this one <coughs> the input to the transmitter consists of a mixture of n independent analog and digital baseband signal these signal can vary can carry either voice data voice data video or digital audio signal any type of signal it can be carried over a <coughs> over a mixture of an independent signal clear now each incoming signal is mixed with the local oscillator frequency having a frequency fi clear the local oscillator frequency are generally in the range of what 2 to 8 gigahertz range and it is known as the these are known as the sub carriers okay so combining the modulated sub carriers gives a composite fdm which is used to drive a laser diode <coughs> you can see here combining all these combining all these using a rf combiner and after a combined power is provided to the laser diode and which provides the intensity based modulation so at the similarly at the receiving end the optical signal is directly detected with a high speed wide band photodiode and this high speed wide band photodiode that is indium gallium arsenide pin photodiode or you can also use the apd there are number of photodiodes which can be used that depends on the your application clear for example for the long distance application we always prefer to have a indium gallium arsenide avalanche photodiode with the gain of with the gain at a 50 to 80 gigahertz gain gain bandwidth product or you can also use the pre amplifier before the apd <coughs> now next one is the optical frequency division orthogonal frequency division multiplexing that is ofdm <coughs> this is of ofdm is similar to the what is similar to fdm but there is similarity difference that the carriers the sub carriers are used orthogonally to each other now see for example in uh, for this one in conventional fdm multiple frequencies are transmitted simultaneously in parallel where the data contained in each signal modulated on, onto the sub carriers that is therefore sub carrier multiplexing techniques contains a wide range of frequencies which i have already told you in this section sub carrier multiplexing clear so these sub carriers are what are then demodulated at the receiver by using a filter or to separate the frequency bands now see but in this case in this case this multiplexing technique employs what several sub carrier frequency which are orthogonal to each other so therefore they do not overlap so we can say that the data rate or bandwidth can also be enhanced or you can say for the same input channel same number of input signals same input number for the same number of input channels bandwidth can be same because all sub carriers <coughs> are orthogonal to each other so this technique can squeeze the multiple modulated carriers that tightly together at a reduced bandwidth therefore there will be a requirement huh? yes but there is a requirement of guard band which uh, guard band <coughs> this this guard band provides the channel spacing between the one sub carrier frequency to the another sub carrier frequency in this ofdm we prefer to uh, use the inverse ffda fft fast fourier transform for, uh, inverse fast fourier transform for providing the orthogonal uh, sub carriers means the sub carrier frequencies different sub carrier are orthogonal to each other data provided by the inverse fast fourier transform for the purpose of modulation and for the demodulation fast fourier transform will be used at the receiver side so this one you can see here that this is the normal fdm or you can say normal sub carriers are used 
क्लियर एंड इन ओ एफ डी एम वन सब कैरियर इज दिस वन अनदर वन इज दिस वन अनदर वन इज दिस वन दीज ओल सब कैरियर आर ऑर्थोंगल टू ईच अदर सो बैंडविथ विल बी सेव फॉर द सेम नंबर ऑफ इनपुट चैनल्स सो ऑर्थोगल एफ डी एम प्रोवाइड्स अलाउज अ हाई स्पेक्ट्रल एफिशंसी वेर द नाइक्यूस रेट नियर द नाइक्यूस रेट वेर द एफिशियंट बैंडविथ कैन बी ऑप्टेन नो सो दिस वन इज द एक्सैक्ट प्रोलॉक डायग्राम ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल फ्रिक्वेंसी डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्स इज द ओ एफ डी एम यू कैन सी हेयर दिस वन इज वॉट नंबर ऑफ इनपुट चैनल दीज इनपुट चैनल आर एंटर इन टू द इनवर्स एफ एफ टी दैट इज द फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग द ऑर्थोगल सिग्नल ऑर्थोगल सब कैरियर्स एंड आफ्टर दिस पहले टू सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन विल बी देयर एंड दिस पहले टू सीरियल ट्रांसमिशन विल बी कंबाइन विद द आर एफ मिक्सर क्लियर नाउ दिस विल एंटर इन टू द लेजर डायोड एंड दिस लेजर डायोड प्रोवाइड द इंटेंसिटी बेस्ड मॉडुलेशन और यू कैन से एम जेड एम मॉडुलेटर कैन बी यूज एट द रिसीवर साइड रिवर्स ऑफ दिस मीन्स हेयर इनवर्स एफ एफ टी हेयर वील यूज द एफ एफ टी हेयर देर इज अ कम्बाइनेड यूज देर इज अपरेटर यूज देर इज अ लेजर एंड देर इज अ फोटो डायोड क्लियर द रिसीवर एंड देर इज अ डी मॉडुलेशन पैलेट टू सील टू पैलेट ट्रांसमिशन नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज द वेव लेंथ डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेक्निक दिस वेव लेंथ डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेक्निक इन्वॉल्व द transmission of the number of different peak wavelength optical signal in parallel on a single optical fiber cable so this wdm is analogous to the F fdm but here <coughs> in the fdm we have we have provided the different frequencies for the modulation and here we are providing uh, we are providing the different wavelength for each source clear and the wave wdm is in intensity based modulation optical fiber system can be implemented using a led or laser sources with multi mode or single mode fiber means wdm technique can be used with either of the source led or laser uh, plus me multi mode fiber or single mode fiber can be used now see this one this is a <coughs> wdm you can see in the first figure this is a transmitter this transmitter transmit want to transmit signal to the receiver side of our channel and this transmitter is the signal the, the signal which is transmitted to the receiver that is having a wavelength lambda clear each now similarly in this here transmitted signal have a has a wavelength that is lambda 1 Here lambda two, and these both are transmitted over same channel with different wavelength. That is lambda one and lambda two. Clear. Similarly, this one, where the number of input signals are there, lambda one to lambda n, and they are transmitted over single channel. Each source is provided with a particular wavelength. <coughs> so this one is the another block diagram for the. WDM, that is a wavelength division multiplexing, and this one is the wavelength demultiplexer. In this, the each user, each signal or each user is provided with the particular wavelength. That is lambda one, lambda two, and lambda nine. For the same channel, when the optical network you will study about the in the same channel, no two users can have a same wavelength. Clear? in the same channel if i say if i say this is a channel a to b no two users can have the same wavelength otherwise the distortion or overlapping will occur every user every user data has its different wavelength which is to be transmitted and in the optical network we will we'll also use the wavelength reuse wavelength reuse can also be concept can also concept can also be used in the wdm but you will study in the optical network 
so this one is the another type of the wdm as wdm is divided into two types coarse wdm and the dense wdm so <coughs> these are divided wdm is divided into two types coarse wdm and the dense wdm these are all divided on the basis of the channel spacing or different uh, or the number of users clear now now so this one is the example of this one is the block diagram for the for the dense wdm <coughs> there are number of channels and each transmitter have a particular wavelength that is lambda 1 and each l n another transmitter has a wavelength lambda n these are transmitted over multiplexer and this multiplexer is wavelength division multiplexer now this signal is to be transmitted over a iridium doped fiber amplifier means you can say that is one of the optical fiber amplifier and this is this signal is to be transmitted over optical fiber at the <coughs> in between we also use the we can also use the e edfa that is fiber amplifier and the chromatic dispersion compensator this is just to reduce the chromatic dispersion which occurs during the in the transmission of optical fiber cable clear similarly at the d uh, at the receiver side d multiplexer will be used and the each receiver has its wavelength which is respect which is respected to respectively to the transmitter of the receiver side now next one is the ocdm that is optical division multiplexing and this technique is similar to the wdm but here or you can say frequency but here what each channel employs a specific code to transmitter transmit and recover a original signal <coughs> this ocdm uh, ocdm technique can also be used can also be termed as a ocdma this is a digital transmission technique where instead of each channel occupying a wavelength or frequency or a time slot uh, each each information is to be transmitted using a coded sequence of pulses <coughs> clear in the earlier cases we have discussed that the each signal each or each channel is occupying a given wavelength frequency or time slot but here what each channel or each information is to be transmitted using a specific coded sequence okay? each channel employs a specific code to transmit and recover the original signal it utilizes what so when the signal is transmitted over a same channel with a specific code so therefore it utilizes what efficient utilization of band, uh, uh, bandwidth will be there so because the all users are using a same number of channel same channel or means same bandwidth so there will be efficient utilization of the spec uh, spectrum clear so where all users share the fiber channel over the uh, fiber channel bandwidth simultaneously clear you can see here this one this is one of the block diagram of the ocdma where there are three users a b c each user is passed with the encoder a encoder b encoder c so this information is encoded with this sequence this information is encoded with this sequence and this information is encoded with this signal these all signals are to be transmitted over a coupler or you can say the same channel and the at the receiver side decoder is used means same algorithm will be used at the encoder side now next one is the hybrid multiplexing technique this hybrid multiplexing technique is a combination of two multiplexing techniques or three multi uh, two mul two or three multiplexing technique which we have discussed in the earlier section means 
when two or more different multiplexing techniques are combined to allow optical signal multiplexing for several opticals and resultant is referred to as the multiplexing technique. So, for the example that in hybrid multiplexing technique we can combine what? We can combine optical or electrical domain with the combination of WDM for example, in OTDM, WDM can be combined with this OTDM combined with WDM, this also combined with WDM and this also combined with WDM. So, these are the this, these are the techniques or these are the multiplexing techniques that are known as the hybrid multiplexing techniques. So, H, uh, so this is this is done to overcome the disadvantage of some modulation technique and to get the advantage of another modulation technique. Thank you. The book which I have referred for preparing the slides or the content which I have taken from these book that is Optical Fiber Communication Principle Practice by the John M. Senior and the another book that is Optical Fiber Communication by the Gerd Kieser. Thank you.